Welcome to the Wrestlinga Show, where we give you the rundown this week of AEW. We do WWE one day, and a couple days later, whenever they decide to play Dynamite afterwards, we will then do AEW. That's why this is falling on this day. Normally, it will be the day after uh, Dynamite airs, which God knows when it goes back to Wednesday. Uh, I'm from the Lingus Mafia. My name is Cav Manning. I am along with Mr. Fausty Walnuts. What do you hear? What do you say? So we want to tell everybody to hear this complete show every week. You will get multiple shows. Uh, you will get the WWE full review, and you will get the AEW full review if you go to patreon.com slash Lingus Mafia. Now, there is a bonus for going there. It's going to be, if you do the WrestleLingus tier, you will only pay 5 bucks a month. And we are doing a promotion to where when 100 people sign up, the first 100 will be entered in a raffle drawing. Now, what do you what win? What can they win? And how many people? We will have 10 drawings when it gets to 100. Once we hit 100... You will even see it on video. We have everybody's name in this generator, and the wheel will spin, and 10 people's names will be drawn. Um, after we get to 50, we're going to do one drawing. When we get to 100, we will have 10. So you have a 1 in 10 chance when we get to 100 to win a prize, and these are big, big prizes. Now, if you win that prize at the 50 mark, you are not taken out. You still have a chance then to win at the 100, so you get a double shot. Now, so you want to get like in bonus at the 50. For getting in early. Yeah, so the prizes we have, and I won't give them to you in any particular order because we are putting together pretty large packages like Gregorio yeah. here. And <laughs> We're still working on it. Yeah. We're still collecting. Yeah, and so I have in our possession. Now, I promoted this on the Conan YouTube show, which was completely cut out, and I will talk about that more next week um, because I showed everything on their YouTube channel, so we will be posting it at Lingus Mafia. You will see the pictures of everything you can win, and all these are authentic. They are, you know, the true life signatures, all that kind of stuff, so no need to worry here. Uh, one of the prizes is a giant framed Hulk Hogan, an ultimate warrior picture from Mania 6, signed by Hulk Hogan. It is in a big frame. How large would you say that even was, Faust? I would say it was 20 Ooh. by 20, something like that. It's Yeah, somewhere around there. 16 by 20, maybe 20 by... No, something by 24. I'm going to measure it because it's a big framed picture. Just <laughs> the blur out. Get that tape measure out. I need to break out the tape measure for that for sure. So that's one of the prizes. Another prize is... A signed pair of Brett the Hitman Hart trunks. Mm. So that that is another one. Um, I have a Brett Hart signed magazine. I went and got signed when I met him and had things signed like that. You have a Kurt Angle pop that is signed by Kurt Angle. A Edge m m plaque. Now, this is a, a plaque that is framed with Edge's picture in it from when he was brand new. This is the beginning Edge, skinny Edge. <laughs> And He's hanging out in the subway stations. Yes, with his glasses and everything. No trench coat in the in the uh, picture. This is a signed plaque by Edge. Also, another plaque signed by Undertaker. That's a big boy right there. So you get the Undertaker one. I have a Ricky the Dragon Steamboat signed action figure. We also have another one that's going to be a, a package together, which is an 8x10 of Stone Cold Steve Austin. And an 8 by 10 of The Rock, both signed by each guy. Um, let's see. I have a very big collectible thing. It is an authentic WWF turnbuckle, which Billy Body was like, that was what he wanted. He was <laughs> like, that's what I would want. So, also, I have uh, the Young Bucks Bucks. That fell from the ceiling at what is that double or nothing when they did like that uh, first big pay per view? I think one's from double or nothing and one's from all out. I think so. You got two different ones there. Okay, so I have uh, the fake money, which on eBay they're twenty five dollars each. So yeah. I and this is there's four of them, so or five. I have five of them because I know it was a hundred dollars worth. Um, I think it was. Are they twenty bucks or twenty five bucks? How many they're, do I have? They're, I've seen them selling for like twenty five. Let me see how many. Oh, do I have? yeah. I have 
There's four of them. I have four of those that will go into one of the packages. I have a Ted DiBiase WrestleMania card where he's hitting Hogan over the back with a chair when Hogan was wrestling Andre. Signed by Ted DiBiase. I did that in person. Uh, we, we also have an Oscar signed card. And um, Fausti, what are you looking for to be giving away? Because some of these things are going to be paired together like that Riggy the Dragon one is going to be paired with something else it's not going to be a prize by itself um I, I have a Kurt Angle sign eight by ten somewhere around here and that's probably <laughs> going to go with the Ricky and the Oscar so they're going to be like a three thing with that yeah. um so and also I have a set of uncut uh from 1998 uh Attitude Era cards they're all uncut rolled I've never Taking them out of the, uh, I mean, I've taken them out to look at the, when I take them out of the tube, but mm-hmm. never mounted them anywhere, never displayed them anywhere. Just always kept them in the tube since 98. So it's an uncut set of trading cards. I still can't find any information on those. I was looking around, like the rock cards in there. I think there's two rock cards mm-hmm. and I think there's rookie cards because mm. I've seen them usually selling for a pretty decent amount. So that is another one. You could have this. It's it's a big giant square. So I mean, you could have this framed, and I would have it like in double pane glass to where you can see the back as well. You know, if you flip it around, stuff like that to see the writing on the back. Um, that is what we have so far, and it, things will be added to it. So there is going to be at the least ten drawings uh, for the one. Uh, when we get to 100 and one drawing for 50, which we will have um, more stuff. So we will have it all laid out. This is what number 10 gets. And when we spin the wheel, the ninth place, boom, and it'll keep going. So we assume that number the, the number one, the final drawing is going to be Bret Hart Trunks signed. Uh, number two yeah. would be the Hulk Hogan signed a uh, giant picture. And then uh, it'll go to the turnbuckle. And then we're going to kind of figure out from there where it goes. Because those are major. I think after that, you're going to get the Rock and Austin signed 8x10s. Because those are major shit, right? Oh, yeah. And then I think it's going to go Undertaker below that. And then Edge below that. Because those are plaques with the picture, you know, mounted in. Um, And then we'll get into... Uh, the Bret Hart magazine and uh, the Angle Pop and the Ricky the Dragon thing teamed with something else. So those kind of things at the end, we're trying to figure out where we're going to put everything together. But go to patreon.com slash Lingus Mafia. It's five bucks to sign up to the WrestleLingus tier. You will get at the least two shows per week. Uh, That will be your AEW review for the week and that will be your WWE review for the week. Um, you might get more uh, shows depending on if we are doing a pay-per-view uh, rundown by itself or if we're adding it in. At the least, you're getting two shows a week, and we're going to give you a taste here. Uh, people on Patreon will get this full AEW show. Uh, the Freebirds on all these other platforms are going to get um, a few minutes of a show, and then it will go out, and you will have to... Uh, go to sign up to get this so there right now just for that tier alone there is 77 spots before we get to 100 because the first week 23 people signed up so uh you could either sign up to a plus tier that we have that's godfather plus or boss plus or wrestlingus tier wrestlingus tier is only five bucks it's the cheaper one you get everything plus our show you just don't get uh, bonus additions like video of our show and um, anything with Lingus Mafia stuff. But for wrestling, you are set over on the WrestleLingus tier. So anything else to add to that, Fausti? Nope. Pretty much covered it. Okay. Let's get into Rampage from not this last week, but the week before because we had notes and then Dynamite was pushed back to that Saturday, which means there'd be another Rampage. But I only got about three notes when it comes to that first Rampage because that's almost AEW's jobber show other than Dark. It's uh, it's like how Sunday Night Heat was in the beginning where it was like kind of hot for a while. So hopefully it doesn't turn into how Sunday Night Heat turned into uh, in the later years where it was like unwatchable. My, my first note is Punk gives way too much to fucking jobber guys. <laughs> He has less of a challenge when he fought The Undertaker. 
He's going like 30 minutes, 20 minutes with a, a no, nobody or nothing. And I understand it. And I, and I, God bless him because he's trying to give back and make someone. He's right. a guy yeah, who likes have. the industry and wants to help. I get it. But you can't, this is, there's certain you cannot do. This has to be superstars matches for him. Where it's, let me beat a job guy and show my shit. There's no, or if you're fighting a, a, a legitimate guy, then you can go these 20 minutes. But don't be worn out after you fight a guy that nobody knows the guy's name. <laughs> yeah, there's a different, who is this again? I don't even I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know who he was. I was going to say, there's a difference of going like 15, 20 minutes competitive in a you know uh, a lower uh, guy versus going, you know, like uh, a Jungle Boy or someone like that. You know, that's I can even see, Jungle Boy. I, I know who he is at least. That's what I mean. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm like, yeah, but these guys are like, who? It was that. It was that bad. So God bless you, Punk, for wanting to give yeah. back. I, and you have to God love it, you. look at it from that way too, right? So. A lot of people are more people are watching AEW now because Punk's there. Like you hadn't watched it, you, you kind of keep your eye on it. But there's yeah. a lot of these guys that the casuals, like <laughs> you know, like I said, like us. Well, yeah. I've been kind of, but I still I, I can't even. Now I'm fully in and I'm watching it every week for sure. But. Yeah, so we'll know. But I mean, eventually, like you said, the guys that hardly anybody knows you're trying to establish. Yeah, the guys that we never see, like even the that the. Uh, I'll get to it. I'll get after it later because um, we had some some nonsense with uh, prior. The week prior was the haircut thing, right? You didn't know who yeah. the guy was that he was even fighting. It was like, who cares if he cuts his hair? <laughs> he had long hair. That's the big deal about it. Okay, who cares? So next thing I have is Ricky Stark's FTW title on the line versus Brian Cage. Give me... Do you see the size discrepancy in this match? The man... Starks speared Cage and bounced <laughs> off of him. He literally bounced off the man. And I go, and he he wins it. You got uh, Cage should have went in there and like like a retard fight and just swung his arms like a crazy person. And yeah. when whenever Starks gets in and gets clipped, the match is over and he pins him and it's it's over with because that's how how bad. I mean, it's re he was the size of Cage's leg. Yeah, he wasn't bigger than Cage when we saw Cage in Dark Side of the Ring. No, That's pre juice. No. Pre juice. <laughs> now, last note I have for this show is I enjoy <laughs> these Mark Henry interviews before the main event, and oh, I'll tell like you why. Smiling, <laughs> Mister Smiles over there on the split screen. If you ever played NHL, uh, I think it was the two Ks back in the day, where um, there was a guy who would do. Uh, commentary in between the periods and it felt it feels exactly it feels like mark henry's not really there and they just have him pre-taped to say something yeah that's what i was wondering if he was even there or not i mean i know he is but they <laughs> say like, things <laughs> yeah. they say things back and forth and then he goes it's enough that's enough talk it's time for the main <laughs> event and I'm like, it's every time. It's every time. And here's what – it's it's John Davidson from NHL because he would look at the camera and you've never seen a more cardboard cutout stiff than this. Uh -huh. He would look at the camera. He would do that Joe Montana football and look both ways like he's going to tell you a secret. Yeah. And he, he looks at the camera and he goes, what a game we have here. You know, it's 12 to 0. What are you talking about? So it was always the same – Wow, what a match. You know, it's so he doesn't know what the hell's going on. And and I'm I'm pretty sure this is what's going on. He has no idea what what's happening here. So mm -hmm. that is uh what happened the week prior on uh, I had, uh two more notes on sure. that show. So we had the cl the acclaimed come out and we were talking about like, all right, are they going to be neutered now when they come out doing their ma uh doing oh, the rap? Oh, yes. He did have a couple He did. Good, it was in week prior. Go yeah. On the promo where it was like, and I even saw people wrote that on like Instagram. They go, oh no, it's a neutered. Uh, and I'm like, yeah, he really, he don't say shit now. I said, this is, this is terrible. On this show, he had a couple lines. Like he said, he was packing heat like Arn Anderson. Yeah, that's good. Uh, <laughs> make you pack your bags like Ben Simmons. You're very good too. Cause they were in Philly. That's a good one. Yeah. He called, uh, 
he called them fake champs like Rocky. So, you know, <laughs> talking about Rocky and Philly. <laughs> yeah, I know. I love that Rocky's like held up like he's a real fucking did something. I go, you know, that was uh, Sylvester Sloan. Okay. Right. So, One other thing. Uh, I hate Jericho on commentary. You know. He just yells. And then uh, they close. even pointed him out about like, dude, why are you yelling so much? He says, hey, I'm <laughs> And Taz is just like, kind of, you just hear Taz giggling a little bit. <laughs> like, He's he's punk esque on uh, commentary because I have a couple of notes when it comes to uh, punk on commentary too. Um, it's up and down for me there. Yeah. So, I- so this week's uh, Rampage Live here it is the head to head part of the show and it is Punk versus Matt Seidel. At least I know who this Matt Seidel is for one, but Evan- I write a big thank you, Evan Bourne. Uh, <laughs> but I write a big L M A O because they go. This match is going to be commercial free because doesn't (laughs) WWE say this last half hour is going to be commercial? I go, but no one's worried about each other at all, are they? These bunch of phony. What was on the other channel at the same time? Becky Lynch versus Sasha Banks. Yes, for a half hour. And then you had the Roman uh, signing afterwards, which we will have on our WWE review. Right. And so they didn't go the full half hour um, commercial free. But no, they didn't. But they said match, I think, because I was like, well, right after the match was done, they went to a commercial, which was odd to me because the match was 17 minutes. Right. Did you hear the comments uh, Tony Khan said about uh, WWE going commercial free? No. <clears throat> and I quote, this is from uh, the New York Post. We can take the commercials out of it. If you want to take the commercials out of it, I can do that, too. It doesn't seem to be very civil, but I have more oh, money than shit. they do. So I can afford to do that longer than they can. Ooh, money at the end of the day. So I was surprised when they took those out. You imagine? I, I mean, <laughs> we'll get into wars uh, later on, but but I mean, give me a break. They they butt fucked them when it came afterwards. It came down to it, and one's on FS1, not in every house. Right. The other was on TBS or what? No, it was TNT, but it was on a Saturday. Um, right. So. <laughs> I like and and Meltzer's always sucking off a oh there was traffic. Yeah, does does Tony Khan have more money or is it actually his father? That's the thing. <laughs> I'm like kick back uh, Donald Trump Jr. with I have more money than everyone. <laughs> no, no, Daddy has more money. No, 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 no. That's mm-hmm. uh you know give me a break. So another match that was harder than the Undertaker is beating Seidel <laughs> and you know 17 minutes. It felt like a fucking hour though. I was I was wore out from this. Um, yeah. I wasn't thrilled. Now, Especially a guy like Seidel, where he's been around forever, and why this isn't elevating a young guy. No, that that is, I mean, he's just trying to now, I think he's trying to be the guy who gives back to everybody, so whatever. Yeah, and I think they're buddies from back in the day, too. Uh, Dark Order in the back, this group is so odd to me. They are odd to me, not in a good way, because you would think this quote-unquote dark group, they're goofy there's a hot chick involved in there, and it's not like the mm-hmm. monsters where it's Marilyn. It's just every mishmatch. And then there's some scary people in it, and then there's Colt Cabana. <laughs> this is, it's mixing. It just makes no sense to me, which gets even worse into Dynamite when we get to it. Uh, Ruby versus Bunny, and it is clear to me why Bunny has implants. No, why is D- that? Does it distract you from her face? <laughs> she also has a pierced tongue because she knows she has to work harder. Oh, no. Thank you. Ruby wins. Ford shows up and uses uh, brass knuckles to give her a nose job for free. <laughs> Every time I see Bunny wrestling, why is she wrestling? <laughs> She's got like those mess- droopy dog jowls with That's those. T- it, it's something about her. I can't put my finger it's on the it. malnutrition it's, bags under the eyes it's every i'm like <laughs> we always say sasha banks is almost good looking this is very poster-esque of uh being able to be in that category too i think she yeah. could be on the swan and really be good looking if she uh did that <laughs> show it was the last time you saw someone win a match with a backslide <laughs> the 80s when uh <laughs> and, and uh brutus beefcake lifted his shoulder at the end so he got the win over the other guy who did um <laughs> My favorite part of the night, Mark Henry. Well, that's enough talk. It's time for the main event. 
fantastic. <laughs> that is split screen. Thank you. Uh, inner Circle Jerks versus the, the Fight Club, whatever the hell their names are. This crowd. Team America's top team. This crowd needs to stop singing this Jericho song because they're doing him a disservice. Uh, there, the, he starts uh, to think it's a good song because he's in his element where people are singing it. It's not normal people. He walks out there with an erection with that song singing he, when they're singing that. And because we've <laughs> seen him at the normal crowd and people are tying their shoes, they're looking at watch it. They don't. They're they're grabbing ass in the crowd. They that clip where he's hanging uh, off the fucking rafters. unbelievable. And rafters and there's like two people. <laughs> he doesn't understand that he that like hey. People don't know me in like normal life. I can't believe that's po- that's like me being on that Conan show. And I go, people actually don't know me here. How's that possible? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Junior DeSantis, uh, DeSantos debut. Um, problem with re- this is in classes. You think that guy said zero point <laughs> zero. Now the problem with fighters going into wrestling, Faust. I'll tell you what the problem is. They should never, ever, ever throw a fist when they're a yep. wrestler because it is slow. It is. Shit. It looks like shit. they can't pull back. It's they're pulling back way too far because they can kill somebody. It's yep. it's shitty. Paige distracts the t the referee. She does her pointing at the fucking uh, person in the ring like she always does. She points downward. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what she does. That's her big thing. Um. So and then the dead presidents or Sven Gulli shows up with this makeup. I can't tell you which, um, <laughs> and they come to help, and that's the end of uh, Dynam. Uh, that's the end of that. Um, yeah, that's what I said. I'm like, uh, that's everybody be- beating the shit out of the quote unquote uh, reunited inner circle. Yeah, oh, before where they uh, been before, uh, when uh, when Paige was distracting, Masvidal came in with that knee strike and yeah. missed by. Feet, but um, well, it's the wind was very you know, they whipped through. Everyone know that. I'm like, they're beating the shit out of inner circle. They said they're reunited. I'm like, where the hell is uh, Santana and Ortiz? <laughs> and then they come out. I'm like, oh, okay, they weren't done putting their makeup on. Chris Tucker <laughs> came out with uh, <laughs> <laughs> who was the other guy from Menace of Society? What was that other fucking guy's name? Oh, was supposed to be something. Fuck. I wanted to say Omar Epps, but that's not him. No, uh, it was a guy uh, with like uh, <laughs> braids, right. He was started to be in all those black gangster movies too, I think. Yeah. 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 It was always one of those, but yeah, I was waiting for Chris Tucker to sit in a chair with a heroin needle in his arm and die eventually, but <laughs> It's time for Dynamite. This is as of yesterday. Dynamite Punk is on commentary. We'll get well, to a couple of things. Go ahead. Clearly he heard our show from the last time because <laughs> he didn't jump into the crowd. He even looked at the crowd because he was on they were on, they had a ramp, the one of those ramps that go straight to the ring. And he he looked at the crowd and says, I'm not jumping, it's too far. <laughs> yeah, and he goes, and and wrestling fans are gross. Their hands are probably full of their own sweat and cum. I don't need to be <laughs> pulling into these fucking people. Malachi Black versus Dante Hicks. Let's see how this goes. Faust, do you know who Dante Hicks is? I try to slide that past you. Dante Hicks. That name sounds familiar. From Clerks. <laughs> oh, fuck. I was like, Dante over here. And all Damn. I kept looking for was Chris Farley being Dante on Saturday Night Live to post it here and go, I'm Dante. If I can put that in there. Um, who cares about this match? Uh, he wears the LM on the on the arm, though, so we like uh, Dante. In black guy. <laughs> With the BLM. <laughs> the whitest black guy you've ever seen <laughs> saying Black Lives Matter. This is like he, Michael Rappaport he, yelling Black Lives Matter. It doesn't. He makes Steph Curry look dark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the comparison is I can't see Steph Curry uh, in the dark unless he smiles compared to this guy. <laughs> Jungle Boy and Luchasaur ass interview in the back. Um, I hate. This is one thing I hate about. Um, Anybody who was attacked a week prior or anything, they are mm-hmm. always holding what hurts. They're holding their arm, their neck. And I said, if this is real life, you know, sell your injury so they don't attack it. He's right. still rubbing his neck from a week ago. We always say this about DDP's wrapped ribs. Oh, yeah. Don't <laughs> give anyone a target. What are you doing? Um, so I popped, though. When Jungle Boy did bring up the trash power bomb by the elite the week before on Luchasaurus, <laughs> I said, "Good, they didn't ignore that. That was fucking trash." He goes, "Yeah, he's really hurt from that vicious 
power <laughs> bomb they did. I said that's fantastic. I like when they mention that they fuck up. Uh, yeah. Bad guys show up and beat the shit out of them. Uh, power bomb Lucha through the table. Inner circle, they talk in the ring. America's top team shows up, and Paige is thicker than a snicker, Faust. Thicker mm-hmm. than a snicker. It's she. If she decides to give up one day, she's going to blow up. She's going to be wide. She's a very <laughs> – she could get down a three-point stance, Faust, and blow you off the line, I think, eventually. Turn into Tony Storm? Oh, I think it's everywhere it's going to blow up. I think she's just – she's the shape of a, a, a rectangle. I think this is a problem for him. So Y2J's out there. I call him Y2J still. He mm-hmm. rips her good, which is he's always good for this. This is that trash bag hoe type of stuff. Um, but she is awful because he's giving her these insults and she doesn't sell. She doesn't sell it like a, it's a neck injury, like fucking Jungle Boy the other time. Backwards. She's right. like with t- crossing the neck. You're no good. You ain't shit. You ain't not. I'm like. You have she to be outraged to by what he said to you. <laughs> no idea what to do. <laughs> she, they have not trained. They go, oh, you want to go out there? Here, go ahead. I, there's no training for shit. Um, and I'm like, she got to she gotta sit out there like she's like, I can't believe he said that. To, like, fucking, you can't tell me that. Like, it's got to be that bullshit. What? Mm-hmm. I can't believe. And the husband, you know, he jumps in front when he, you know. But, I mean. Jesus Christ, he says, yeah. I wouldn't fuck her with your husband's genitalia. is fucking fantastic, <laughs> Faust. And Punk <laughs> comes through with a line. He said this. He goes, but I believe he would. That's fucking fantastic. <laughs> I said, this is fucking fantastic. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> uh, not much said the other way. It's pretty much, well, I, you know, we want to fight you. Uh, so yeah. next week, everyone says, okay, well, I'll fight. Yeah, and Santana and Ortiz, no, they don't have their makeup on anymore. Yeah, thank God. I don't know why. Why was that? What were they, boogeymen? What the fuck? I'm telling you, they watched Sven Gulli the night before. They they must have uh, wrestled on Dark or something. <laughs> but the their makeup before. was too pristine to be that still. <laughs> Are you kidding Maybe me? After. I don't know. <laughs> uh, so guys are in the room, and um, we have some guys in the ring, but they aren't rookies, but Faust, they're green. They're all dressed in fucking green. I go, well, I don't know, what, what am I watching here? Uh, so it's mm-hmm. guys in green suits. Did they even say they had a name when they got Los, in there? Los Ranas, which means frogs in Spanish. Okay, the frogs are in here. This is like uh, Matt the Flower, the coach. You know who Matt the Flower is, Faust? <laughs> Matt the Flower. Thank you. Uh, versus the Lucha Brothers, and this is for the AAA tag titles, which they're probably like, I'll just lay down and let you pin me. Fuck these titles. Why do I have these things? I carry these around no more. Yeah, where are these at? Never mind fooling anyone because this is now punk and the announcers have to go. That's FTR. Why? Why do you tell? Yeah. Why? I don't know who the fuck is in this. Come on now. Well, the, the other announcers are kind of just not even really acknowledging it. Punk was the only one saying like, so are we just going to admit who this is? Uh, <laughs> I, You know, and that's the thing. I wonder if punk is. I wonder they told. I, I would hope they told him to say it because that's some balls otherwise. They're wearing their boots, their normal boots. Does uh, it say thing. FTR in the boots? No, but I always know they got those, like, flame boots. Flame or boots flame. they're wearing. <laughs> uh, Tony Schiavone tries to be slick and says, after they get their masks ripped off and we know who it is, Tony Schiavone, after commercial, tried to be slick. He goes, we got our very own Tony Romo here, CM Punk. I have always known that Punk does not, watch football, know anything about football. He jerks mm-hmm. off to hockey and baseball. Uh, that It's very sad to me because I'm like, never nothing about the Bears, this guy. It's it's the Cubs, the Blackhawks. Let me, he was wearing a, a, a Rockford Ice fucking, the Wolves fucking T-shirt or whatever the hell that was <laughs> yesterday. I go, the and, Wolves. And the only time I heard him really talk about the Bulls is, you know, the last dance and then the first dance and he had his little pin he's been wearing. I think they were selling them too with the uh, basketball jersey that says punk on it. Mm. See, yeah, I'm like, wait, what is this? Nobody cares about these yeah. other teams. Um, well, what's boot match too is, is they're trying to, uh, first uh, Los Ron is they're trying to take uh, the masks off mm-hmm. of the Lucha Brothers and they say, well, this is a triple A title match and in triple A it's a DQ. <laughs> yes. take off the- and then a minute later, I think it was Tony. He goes, I oh, just got word that <laughs> this match 
actually going to be competed under AEW rules. Yeah, don't if you get thrown over the top rope, it's a DQ too. Apparently, right? this is yeah, that the, like a DQ if you try to take a mask off. That does make sense in that world because it's such a sin to do. Um, I can't imagine there's many DQs though because how many of these Mexican guys are getting their masks taken off? It doesn't happen. It's all they got over there. Um, but Punk goes, what do you mean, Tony Romo? All I know is he used to be a quarterback. So I'm like, this motherfucker doesn't know yep. about a football. You break my heart. You you broke my heart, Fredo. Uh, Wheeler, Wheeler, Utah. What was this guy's name? Uh, Yakimoto over here versus Moxley. Uh, Orange Cassidy is with this Wheeler. And who the fuck is Wheeler, for one? I thought this guy was going to have a, a, a Broadway match with Punk when he first was announced. <laughs> Mox is like, I don't, I don't, I don't Mox around. says, I ain't giving back to this industry. Fuck you. <laughs> um, I enjoy a suplex where he doesn't go down. He suplex and throw him down. Um, yeah. Mox cool. comes in two minutes, butt fucks this uh, Japanese guy. And I'm like, is this setting up Orange Cassidy with him? Because what the fuck? I mean... I don't Moxley now that he has been doing weird shit like he's doing these death fucking match. I'm like, why kinda, are you punk? reducing yourself now to fucking garbage stuff? Yeah, I don't know if Punk or Excalibur kind of hinted at it because Mox has got some scars like all over his back. Yeah, and they even say, oh, uh, you see some remnants for a recent uh, match he had elsewhere. But I don't know if he said elsewhere. He said from the week prior something like that. It was like. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm like, why is he fucking, doing that? I think it was last week he wrestled Nick Gage. Yeah. And the fucking death match, which I heard people were shitting on. Yeah, I heard another one. Foley said Khan needs to tell him you're not doing this shit anymore. It, yeah. it, it really is like, why would you do yeah, this Foley to did yourself? Match. Yeah, it's really, um, you've made it to you. Why, why are you doing I mean, you can't be like, I love this. Yeah, let me get fucking <laughs> tubes blast. Why? Okay. Yeah. Uh, another golden gem here. Serena Deeb interview in the back, and she gets into a fight with somebody else out there. You know that that Chinese Japanese broad, whatever yeah. she is. That uh, you it's know, the two for two in the back in interviews and having an attack. Yeah. <laughs> um, Punk with a great Wait, line oh, afterwards, oh. though. Yes. What a great head of hair on that Serena Deeb. I pop Faust. I said these are the little things where okay, Punk makes it through because the rest of the commentary by Punk is terrible because. He's very layman, uh, not lame man, a uh, layman um, when he's doing a commentary, though. And because it seems like he's learning as well as like us with new people and trying yeah. to figure out what's going on. So that is an odd thing because he's always like, oh, yeah, you know, he's talking. There's no character where he has to fake bullshit. So when he comes through with these great lines, because I'm like. Uh, we all know that you banged this Serena Dib when she had those big fake titties. Okay. And one thing they do that I don't like, and uh, TNA used to do this a lot, like they start fighting in the back and then boom, they just cut away. Like there's no time to, you know what I mean? It was just like real quick, it seemed like. Mm -hmm. They start fighting, they're throwing fists, they weren't even broken up, they just cut away yeah. before they were broken up or anything. So Dark Order versus the Bucks. And uh, Adam Cole, uh, Bay Bay. I'm telling you this Dark Order is odd. I told you before. Evil yeah. Uno looks like he could be something like a crazy person or scary. Yet he's strutting to the ring like a character. What are you doing? <laughs> I go, he's I supposed to be a scary monster. And he's like fucking strutting with his arm behind his back like he's regal. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Um, do you notice the guys... In the front row, in the blue recon shirts, are bigger than all of the wrestlers in AEW. I, I saw the guys with the shirts, but yeah, I didn't one know guy was were. a monster, and I was like waiting for he was just like a cage size, and I'm like I'm waiting for this guy to show up and jump in. They were all big. There was like one skinny guy that was in that little group, but I'm like, you know, I don't want to be that guy that says there's you know all petite wrestling. Right. Facts are facts. They're small, Faust. They're they're a lot of small guys when it comes to that organization. And I'm I don't even care though. I'm not one of those who go, ah, oh, everyone too small. But when I was in the wrestling world, Faust, and they wanted me to wrestle, I go, I'm not a fucking big guy. I'm five eight. And they would go, <laughs> but you can wrestle. Because I could do something. No, it's not believable to me. I don't want to be a flippy flop. It's not for me. I enjoy the fucking monster in the ring. Thank you, Faust. I, for the industry, I bowed out. Uh, 
Uno versus uh, this silver guy. They flex in the ring, Faust. And do you did you catch this? Because this evil Uno had the sock of one of the young bucks he pulled off. Yeah. They did the sock. And he spot. did the sock spot. They all flex in the ring after like they throw them all out. And this little guy, Silver, who's posing. And then Evil Uno is doing a flex like um like Earthquake used to flex. Walk <laughs> around with no muscle yeah. and flex. Um, and Evil Uno yanks off the fucking sock off his arm to chuck it. And he punches the other guy square in the face. I didn't even notice that. And the other guy turns to him and goes, dude. And he was like, he stopped and gave him a hug. He was like, sorry, man. Fucking... He completely square punched him square in the nose when he whipped his arm out. And he was oh, like, dude, <laughs> fuck, you killed me here. And I'm like, yeah, remember, they're supposed to have a little heat, too. So, hey, don't, what are you doing? Don't do that. Um, bad guys win. Jungle Boy shows up afterwards. Um, Virgil Cut Cutler is in the ring, and he gets beat up. As, <laughs> as usual. Just yeah. there to take bumps. Yeah, he got to do that. Arn doing his training with Cody. Here's an interesting part for you, Fausty. They arrive, they pull up, and they open up that garage door, and everyone starts talking shit to Cody. And the uh -huh. black broad says, oh, late as usual, like a, like Mr. Hollywood, give him a slap in the face, Faust. What do, you, yeah. do you know what's wrong with this picture right there, right here and what's then? Wrong? Arn's driving the car. How is it Cody's fault that they're fucking late? <laughs> True. What are you doing <laughs> slapping him? Around? I'm like, fuck, I was ready. It's fucking Arn with his crippled hand. Can't turn the wheel. I don't get here in time. Someone tried to take his car. It's a fucking clock. <laughs> he clock. pulled out his clock <laughs> at the stoplight at 7-Eleven. We had a cop come by. I don't know what to do. I don't want to. So Rocky Three continues here as uh, what Billy would say about this. Yeah. We're trying to make him look like a good guy. <laughs> this is a problem, Faust. He's going to beat this Malachi Black and he is going to get shit on. You will like a rain shit storm you have never seen before is going to happen here and he's gonna go look how great there i'm this gonna show you know i came up and you know i'm tough i came in here i'm gonna go get the fuck off my tv mjf calls out darby allen but as we found out last week faust he wasn't cleared two seconds after he got into a fight he wasn't cleared right okay uh oh we skipped over what Earlier, didn't he? He collected a. Uh, he got an envelope. He did. He got an envelope. I didn't even bother to write it down. He got an envelope from Andrade, cash and a check. I, I'm like, all right, because he they beat up people. Oh, f f whatever. Yeah. This is for this Darby thing. Yeah, they're all in masks. Uh, Punk slips up and says the W uh, AEW. That's always a favorite of mine when they slip and say uh, WWE. Yeah, almost. Like, uh, Punk at one point was. Tried correcting Jr. because of <laughs> Jr. trying to say he was trying to say TN oh TMZ he was trying to say TMZ and he said TN TMZ and then uh, Punk's like we're on TNT Jr. Oh he called TNT TMZ that's fucking good okay yeah I like I say watch out that karma gonna fucking get you mm -hmm. okay. no but Jr. was trying to say TMZ because he was it was when uh, Cole came out. Oh, but and, meanwhile, he said, and then Punk corrected him into the wrong thing? No, well, yeah. Oh, that's great. That's even fucking better. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's like, no, wise ass. It is fucking TMZ. I'm trying to tell you. With his face dripping off. <laughs> <laughs> um, so they asked the ref to give a 10 count. And mm -hmm. and Sting, who needs head and shoulders drastically, because there was dandruff <laughs> all over the place when he can't. I go, God, God damn it. Um. Mm. MJF like, oh, is going here in Florida. I'm like, well, yeah. And, and <laughs> not to be a big fucking queer here, Faust, but did you notice that fucking MJF had his pointy dick fucking at full fucking staff during this? <laughs> I did not know. Well, you need to be a big homo and take a look, Faust. <laughs> I beg you, go back. He, and it's <laughs> like he is pointing at 12 o'clock with a little tiny dick. It is unbelievable. I'm like, the whole time he's got this fucking hard on. I'm like, the fuck is this? <laughs> I implore you all, go look. Don't you don't have to be a, a homo. This is for educational purposes. You're gonna see. Go. What the fuck? MJF's got a fucking heart on, but no one wants to say it because they'll be replied with, "What are you a fag? You looking? <laughs> Listen, the guy's got a fucking hard dick. Stand in the ring. Well, I'm not supposed to fucking comment. Okay. Um, punk. Okay, we mentioned that he mentioned the wrong uh, federation at first, and he giggled about it. Whoops. Anna J. 
and uh, Britt Baker fight in the back. Anna Jay got a shot at Miss Lingus this year, at least to go a little bit far into Miss Lingus yeah. this year. Yeah, she's looking good. Uh, Kira Hogan versus Penelope. I giggle that uh, Hogan is black. And then Punk even <laughs> fucking mentions any relation. And right. they all start in with, oh, Paul Hogan and, you know, or whatever. But he said Paul Hogan. He always okay. said Ben Hogan. Uh, yeah. I, but um, this Kira Hogan got more ass than the word assassin, Faust. I don't know if you. <laughs> it was funny. Um, they have her. They put her Twitter on the screen when she comes out. And her Twitter handle is at Hogan knows best number three. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> I'm like, how that's how sad she is that that's. And it's number three because you can't even have gotten it normally. Yeah. She was in. Wow. Uh, in before and I had first heard the name. I'm like, who is this? That I saw as a black girl. I'm like, oh, it's a black girl. This so it's not so doing that gimmick yeah. like she's the long lost daughter. Or something. Isn't ironic. And then I, I looked it up. That is her real name. So oh. it's not like. Uh, okay. Well, then, you know, God bless her for having it. Penelope, uh, she looks like she could do a vampire gimmick to me. And she looked like she could have a fucking those teeth and with the red lips yeah. and like a little bit of blood coming down. She looks, like, looks like a vampire. Like she makes her face. More pale, you know what I mean? Yeah, she might do the fucking. I don't know if she get makeup lesson from Sting or Darby Allen. I don't. Somebody <laughs> does this. Well, uh, she has half her face, so her uncle didn't die. <laughs> she does full face. Her whole family must have died. I guess. Um, <laughs> what a move by Penelope, by the way. A back handspring into the RKO. Fantastic. I'll tell you, I I enjoyed it. I said that is a good move. I I don't remember seeing it before. Um, yeah. She went. She wins, and then Ruby Riot shows up, and uh, there's you know everyone beats each other up. I enjoyed this Miro promo, yelling at God. <laughs> I think this is famous. This is fantastic. What he did, I thought this was good. They're finally doing Miro right. <laughs> they are. Yeah, I'm like, oh, they realize there's a monster that they could uh, have as a brute here, like they yeah. originally did with Miro, and then screwed now it talking all. about. Yeah, he's too busy with his video games and all that shit. Uh, he makes more money on Twitch than probably at AEW. <laughs> Hangman interview in the ring. We get a lesson on what cowboy shit is, and what it is is an excuse to say shit. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> True life, Faust. Let me just yell shit as much as I possibly mm -hmm. can. Because we're on cable. Yes. Uh, Bobby Fish, my favorite name in the business, folks. I, I used to call it the business. Robert Fish to you. Thank you. Robert Fish. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bobby Fish. Uh, versus Daniel Bryanson. <laughs> uh, this doesn't help old Fish face because... Why are you fighting? He fights everybody he's going to lose. Let's fight all the main event guys so I can never get a win. Yeah. Never <laughs> try to help him out. And another loss for him. They mentioned, though, I think that he fought probably that uh, YouTube show before, uh, the night before. So he got a, a win somewhere against a slob. I said, oh. Yeah. I go, ooh, I, I thought I heard that tree in the forest. So <laughs> apparently he gets his win. Next week, Faust, another Saturday night, and I write, fuck. I don't like a said I enjoy my Wednesday night action, Faust. And yeah. This bothers me. How long is this going to happen? Hockey season, guess what, has started. It doesn't end until June. So what What the hell? They said in January they're going to uh, the other, TBS. to TBS. Yeah. So in the meantime, is it going to be spotty here and there? But it's like Wednesday night hockey. That's like the name. Right. So I have help. no idea. Help us out. Find out what the hell's going on here. So One fucking dog show. <laughs> yeah, I like I said, and I wrote to them, and somebody replied back. I said, I understand being, you know, uh, taken taken out for the Westminster Dog Show, but hockey, never. Don't you dare do that. Nobody watches the hockey. I think less people watch hockey than the Westminster Dog Show. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, they had a, so, hold on. So, they just had, what was that, last week? The last, when they did that ladder match, that casino, whatever the fuck it was, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Hangman won. To get the number one contender. And now they're having another number one contender. And now they're having another number one contender tournament. <laughs> yeah, and, and this, is for, this is for... Well, this is for after uh, Paige loses. They need another contender in here, Faust. <laughs> <laughs> and it's... Uh, they might as well call it King of the Ring, Faust. It's a bracket. <laughs> 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 and they're going to have uh, some matches here. So that is what we get for your AEW review for the week, Faust. Is there anything you want to add to put a nice bow on this uh, edition of the WrestleLingus show, AEW. 
No, it's just these back to back shows. It's kind of, yeah, <laughs> Friday night, Saturday night. I don't like, I like when it's spread out. Yeah, spread them, baby. Spread them. Thank you. Um, make sure you go to at Lingus Mafia. If you want to see pictures of what we are giving away for everybody, uh, we're giving out this show, the entirety. Everybody has heard this. Um, so here's your taste of one of the shows we have also on the feed that you're listening to here a uh, couple weeks, two weeks back. There is the WWE review, but obviously every week there is a new review, but you can get a taste if you want to go back and see how we do WWE. But basically it is going to be this with making fun of WWE as well as we do with AEW files. Yeah, so if you want to prizes, uh, it's been tweeted out. It's on our Instagram. Both of them are at, Lingus Mafia. And it is being added to daily. I am getting more and more stuff. We are going to make this enormous. So for five bucks, you're in, and uh, you can win when we get to 100. If if it does not get to 100, Faust, if it is 80, we are still doing a drawing. There will not be 10 winners. There will be less. You get to 100, there are 10. If it is... 40 who sign up there will be a drawing it will not be 10 so you there will be a couple months or hell if bang 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 everybody signs up this drawing is happening you know in two weeks whatever right. um obviously i'm not going to say well it's got to go a year before we get to that you know we will say okay that's enough we'll we'll go now even if it's not at 100 so Sign up. We will be having a giveaway no matter what. We come through as usual with everything, and you will see all the stuff you can win. You do not need to pay for shipping. All you need to do is sign up, and you will be entered into this thing of ours. So that is patreon.com slash Lingus Mafia. As we say, go to at Lingus Mafia to see the pictures of what this is and see if you're interested in um, jumping on. And also, if you do win, like if you are the third place winner, like Billy had said, um, that got cut out of the Conan show, uh, Billy said he was dying for the turnbuckle. He wants to win the turnbuckle. He does not want to win the Brett tights. He doesn't want to win the Hogan uh, picture. Now, I had said, well, if he was involved in this, he's not signed up. So um, and I told him, hey, you want to win? Sign up. Well, you know, It's all on the up and up. You'll see the wheels spin. Whatever happens, happens. Now, if I said if somebody were to win third place and they got the turnbuckle, but they really wanted that Hogan one, and then whoever won the Hogan one said, I got a lot of Hogan stuff. I want the turnbuckle. If you guys talk and both agree, hey, we want to swap prizes, you both let me know that, I will send them out to how you want it sent out. So you guys could all negotiate with each other inside the family and trade prizes. If one guy's a big Kurt Angle guy and one guy's a big Ricky the Dragon guy and want to swap, you can. Um, depends on who wins what and if they're into their prize or not. So... Uh, we will have the entire order run down soon, and it will be posted and pinned to our profile um, when we are, uh, you know, game, set, match, and ready to go after Fausco snooping around his home for uh, prizes over <laughs> here because uh, we got to get more. We got to get more in there. So that's it. Uh, go check everything out. For Mr. Fausty Walnuts, I'm Cav Manning. We'll see you next week.